Do you wanna have more control over your game and mic audio in your recordings? In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to separate your mic and your game audio inside OBS so that way you can have more control. If that sounds good to you, drop a quick like on this video so other people can find this video. And to all my EDM fans out there, let's take a quick second to appreciate my new Said This Guy jersey. If you know, you know. So the very first thing that we're gonna do is obviously open up OBS Studio, duh. As you can see, we have a basic scene here. We got a webcam, webcam overlay, which you can get this exact one in my streamer starter pack which is linked in the description down below so you can check that out and then we just got a basic window capture so what we need to do now is actually tell OBS that we want to split our game audio and our mic audio so in order to do that we need to go to the bottom right corner where it has a little settings button so we're gonna click on that and then we're gonna navigate to the audio tab on the left hand side so the global audio devices tab this is what we're gonna tell OBS studio where our game audio and computer audio is coming from through this desktop top audio button and then the mic audio as well. So we'll do the mic one first because it's easier. So literally you just go to mic and then you click on whichever mic you're using. Simple enough, right? I'm using the Rode PodMic USB right now. I love this mic. It's super friendly for streamers and recording people. And I have an entire video on it, which I'll leave in the top right corner for you guys. So obviously we're going to choose that. Done deal. Easy peasy. Once you see that, we can drag this up. And now once I'm talking the mic, it's going through this little mic audio track right there. So now we need to go to the desktop audio. So if you guys have no idea what the heck desktop audio is basically the easiest way to figure out which one you're using is whatever like speaker or headphone you're using so in this case I know I'm using the speakers from my Yamaha ZG01 and so if you want to double check that I'm gonna hit OK and then if you're on Windows Mac is probably somewhat similar you're gonna go over to this little speaker icon right here and I'm gonna right click it and go to sound settings and so if you're on Mac, you gotta find wherever your sound is located at. I don't have a Mac, so I can't tell you for sure, but I'm sure there's a Reddit thread if you guys are really struggling. But here you can see that the speakers on the Yamaha ZG01 are the speakers, so that confirms that we are using the right speaker. So I'm gonna X out of this, and we're gonna go back into the settings. We're gonna go to the audio tab and confirm everything is set up there correctly, so that is good to go. So the first step is done. Hopefully that wasn't too bad. Now we're gonna go to the output tab, which is one above the audio tab, and then we're gonna go to the recording tab. So you're gonna change first this output mode from simple to advanced, but don't freak out. It's only so you can see the settings that I see and it's really not too hard. And I'll dumb it down in case you guys really don't understand it. So the very first thing is the recording path here. So this is just going to be where your recordings show up after you're done recording the file. So if you wanna change the location of where it's being recorded to, you can simply hit the browse button and choose the new folder. Simple enough, right? Then for the recording format, if you're using OBS Studio, honestly, I'd recommend recording an MKV. And then once you do that, you're gonna go to the advanced tab on the left and then go down to where it says recording and then automatically remux to MP4, you're gonna enable that. Because basically what happens is if you're under output, and recording and you're recording under mp4 like i used to if your obs crashes or your power shuts off or for whatever reason the, the recording is just corrupted it's gone like mp4s cannot be recovered so if you use the mkv and your power goes out or obs studio crashes then you will still get that footage when all the stuff hit the fan so i recommend doing mkv and automatically remuxing if you have the opportunity to and then for the video encoder normally i would use nvidia nvec h264 but i'm recording a video in streamlabs right now for this video Video. So when I did that, it literally crashed my computer and I have to restart the entire recording over again. So for this video, I'm using X264 because I tried it and it's going to be saved for the video. So F in the chat for 20 minutes wasted, but hey, we're back. I got to put this out for you guys. And then the most important part right here is going to be the audio track. So most of you guys know that I stream on Twitch, Kick, and YouTube at Monday at 7 p.m. Central. So under my streaming tab, you can tell that all my audio sources are going on track one. So that means my mic audio and my game volume. So on the recording track. I don't want to record on that because it has our audios combined, which is the exact opposite of what I'm teaching you in this video. So for the recording, I'm setting it to tracks two and three, which is basically telling OBS that, hey, when I record, I wanna have two separate audio tracks. So one for this and one for that. But right now that we've done that, now we need to tell OBS, what do we want on track two and track three? So those two audio tracks. So now what we need to do, before we do that, we're gonna quickly go to the audio tab at the top. So click on that. I'm gonna change all of the bit rates to 320 
because that's just going to give you the best audio quality for your recordings and streams. So once you've done that, now we can tell OBS what we want. So we're going to click on the little OK button here. So click on that. And then we're going to go to the audio mixer tab right here and then go to the bottom where you see these little cog wheels. So click on that, which will bring us to the advanced audio properties, which sounds scary, but it's not that scary. So don't freak out. Basically, we only have two audio sources right here, the desktop audio, which is going to pick up all of the audio coming out of our computer, except for the microphone. So that's why we have this set right here. And if for whatever reason you're hearing your mic through the desktop audio, chances are you probably have audio monitoring turned on somewhere. So if it's here, turn it off. Or if it's in your like microphone settings, you should turn that off as well. Otherwise, you're going to hear yourself through the computer audio, and that would defeat the entire purpose of what I'm teaching you. So we got our computer audio, aka desktop audio, and then we got our mic. So now we look at our tracks on the right. So we have track one, which is going straight to our stream. But if you're not streaming, then ignore that part. But more importantly, we told OBS we want to record on tracks two and three. So on track two, we're only going to record our computer audio, aka our game audio, but not the mic audio. And then vice versa for track three. We're going to record the mic audio, but not the game audio. So now when we record, it's going to record two separate audio tracks, one with the desktop audio and then one with the microphone audio, which will give us more control. So now let me show you this in practice and how you're actually going to do it. So we're going to hit close. I'm going to play you one of my songs because if you guys didn't know, I actually make EDM music for fun. So we're going to listen to a little bit of that and I'll show you guys how this all works. And then I'll play some game audio too. So, you know, I'm not capping. All right. So I'm playing my music right now. You can see it's popping up here and then I got my mic here. So let's start the recording. We're going to hit start record. Now it's going to be recording it. Give it a couple seconds. So you can hear we got our music right here and then we got me talking right here. So we got both. So now what we need to do is I'm going to open up a game so you guys know that it also works with games. All right. Now I've got my game going. This is chained together so you can hear that's got the background noise. I guess it's more of an ambience than music. We're going around. I'm recording in OBS Studio. So we're just going to talk like this. I'm talking over it. And now let's go back into OBS Studio and end the recording. All right, so we're going to close the recording right here. So let's go find that file. So here's the folder that we have the recording in. As you can see, it makes two copies. One's MKV and the other is MP4. Really, you don't need this one. It's just going to take up space. You can delete it if you want. But this is the MP4 file that we're going to have. But you'll notice that if you double click on it and you use like Windows Media Player, or movies player or whatever the heck you're using, it's not going to play both audio tracks at the same time because these players don't know how to play multiple audio tracks at the same time. So you're probably only going to hear the game audio or you're going to hear your microphone because that confused the hell out of me the first time it happened. But when you put it in your video editing software like DaVinci Resolve, that's when you can form them back into one and it'll play like normal. So let me show you how to do that. So this is a video editing software that is free. It's called DaVinci Resolve. I'll leave it linked in the description down below. I'm not sponsored by them, but I do use this for all of my editing processes. And just be aware, there are two versions. There's DaVinci Resolve and then there's DaVinci Resolve Studio. The Studio is the paid one. So just use the DaVinci Resolve, the free version, because it pretty much does the same thing and it's going to do everything that you need it to. And if you need tutorials on how to use DaVinci Resolve, you should Google it or YouTube it because there are hundreds, if not thousands of easy tutorials on how to do this. But I'm just going to show you the bare bones basics. So right now we're under the edit tab right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to drag our video file in. So go here and I'm going to drag it into here and then put it there. And as you can see, well, first we have to change the project frame rate because the project frame rate is the project that we're working on in DaVinci Resolve and it's not matching what we were recording in in OBS Studio. So I think the DaVinci Resolve project is probably set at 30 FPS right now and this is recorded in 60 FPS. So we just hit change. It's going to change it and everything's going to be good. But now you can see we have our video file as well as two audio tracks. So you can see the top audio track is likely our game audio or music and then our microphone track is on the bottom because it's going in and out. So if I just play play it so I'll play it now can be recording it give it a couple seconds and then I can mute well actually we'll zoom out real quick I'm going to mute my mic so boom perfect so now we can only hear the game audio or music in this case and then we can do vice versa unmute that also works with games. can talk so we'll go here so now what we need to do beautiful is, I'm gonna open up a but now the guys. cool part is is that if we actually go over let's do the game audio part because I know you guys are like oh what about the game audio Cody so actually it sounds like the game audio is kind of low so I'm actually gonna turn this up right about there 
And then we can go back and play it. Now I've got my game going. Okay, now it's way too loud. But basically, you're, you're getting the point here. Now you're going to have more control over your microphone audio and the volume of it, as well as the game audio volume. This is Cody from the future that's editing this video right now. And I know there's going to be one person in the comments that's like, well, Cody, how do you export the video? I got you. When you're ready to obviously export your video, because you're like, well, this is multiple audio tracks. Isn't going to export in multiple audio tracks? Not really. So you're going to go to the deliver tab at the bottom, and it's going to bring you to the export page, hopefully, if my computer loads. There we go. And then you'll be able to choose your custom render settings depending on what you want to render it to so you could easily just do YouTube 1080p be done with it and when you go and actually make the file and location and you add to render queue so like add to render queue so we'll just name it for whatever hit save and then you'll just render all right behind my webcam so let me hide that just hit render all and it's going to render the video and then your video that has two or more audio tracks is going to be compressed and exported into a regular video with everything back to normal so that way when you upload it to youtube everyone's going to hear it unlike when we tried to play it in the media player which was only playing one but now they're both compressed into one so now when you play it in a media player it'll all be good to go so i got you one person in the comments if you want to learn how to use davinci resolve comment down below and i'll make a video on how i edit in davinci resolve but otherwise in the meantime there's hundreds of videos on youtube so you can go check those out but if you want to take your content creation journey to the next level, watch this playlist to the side of me. My name's Cody, and I'll see you in the next one.